We're now in a new section in the AutoCAD Blocks and Dynamic Blocks course. And what we're going to look at now is the Block Editor, which allows you to edit existing blocks and also edit blocks that you're creating on the fly. So what we're going to look at first is how we edit using the Block Editor from a new block. So if you look up at the top of the drawing there, you can see 05 editing from a new block complete. That's the drawing that we're using in the video. If you want to follow along with the drawing in your working files, you're looking for editing from a new block .dwg. So we've got some objects in the drawing already here. Got some arcs, some lines and things making up our chair. We've also got a couple of attributes in there as well. So what we can do now is we can start thinking about how we use the block editor while we're creating a new block. Now I'm already in the insert tab. So I'll go to the block definition panel, click here and create block. So I'll put the name of the block in, which will be chair two. In this case, we've already got a chair block in there already in the drawing. So we will need to rename it. What we do there now, we do the usual block tools. So we pick point. I'll use the same point as before, the midpoint snap there. What I'll also do is select objects and just do a little crossing selection window there. Make sure I've got everything including the attributes and right click to confirm. Now, what I'm going to do this time is I'm actually going to delete the original objects. I'm not going to convert to block. Now, the reason I'm going to delete this time is because what I want to do is work in the block editor and then bring the chair to block into the drawing once I've used the block editor just to show you how it works. I'll leave the behavior as is, annotative unticked. We don't cover annotative in this particular case. And scale uniformly and allow exploding. I always leave those ticked unless required otherwise. There's one more tick box though. It's down here. Open in the block editor. So once you click on OK, the block editor will kick in so that you can go in and edit the block using the block editor rather than the drawing area here. When I click on OK, you will see that the screen will change. And you'll notice that I've got this grey background, and if I just drag it in here, I've got this funny block authoring palette as well. Check out the ribbon too. The ribbon has changed quite dramatically. We're now in the Block Editor tab. Now this only kicks in when you tick that box in the block creation. Now you can also go to the Insert tab and kick off the Block Editor individually as well. But in this case, because we ticked that open in block editor box in the block definition dialog box, we're now in the block editor. We're not actually in the drawing area anymore. We're in a separate part of AutoCAD. So we've got all of the objects that make up our block here, as you can see, and we've got our attributes as well. Now you'll notice there's a lot of tools that we can work with. We do have the at def command right there, attribute definition, so I can put more attributes in if I want to. In this particular case, I don't want to. All I'm going to do now is I'm going to confirm that this block is OK by saving it, and then I'm going to close the block editor up here. I'm just showing you how to get to the block editor at the moment. We'll go into it in a bit more detail in a minute. So let's hit Save Block over here on Open and Save. So I've saved the block. So that's saved it. And you see it's a B save, a block save. If I now close the block editor, You'll see that the original objects have disappeared and I'm back in the drawing area in AutoCAD. So if I now go to the insert tab on the ribbon, go to the block panel and do insert block, click on the down arrow here, there's chair two. Specify on screen is ticked, scale and rotation I'll leave as is, click on OK. That comes in with the default values on the attributes. It's on the furniture layer because that's my current layer click and I'll place it there, ask me to update obviously the attributes and don't forget the dialog box is on as well using the AWTDIA attribute. So I can change those values, HM there and I'll change that to say $170. So I'll click on OK, that information goes into that block on the drawing. So that's how you can go into the block editor and edit from a new block that you're creating in your drawing. As we work through this section, we'll work more and more with the block editor, and you'll see how those tools can make you more productive, but also enhance all of your block creation as you work in AutoCAD.